What's up guys, ViperFPV here, and today we're gonna to be talking about parallel charging and why you might wanna go ahead and parallel charge, what is parallel charging, and how to do it safely. So I was actually charging some batteries, just about to put some on the charger, and this is dawn on me, I've never done a parallel charging video. So I wanted to just kinda of go do an overview of it, tell you guys what it's all about, and why you probably should be doing it. So first off, we're flying mini quads. We're flying a lot of FPV drones. We're using a lot of batteries. So we're flying, you know, 10, you know, 6S batteries, 10 4S batteries, what, whatever. Um, but if you were just to use your charger to charge each battery by itself, it'll take approximately an hour a battery, depending if you are doing it at 1C or unless you're doing it higher. Um, it's usually recommended to do it at 1C, which 1C on a battery will always be this is a really easy way I always remember. 1.3, so 1300 milliamps this battery is. So you want to go ahead and 1C will be 1.3. Pretty much that's exactly what it would be. So if you have a, say a 2600 milliamp battery, it'll be 2.6 in the charger. So what we're going to go ahead and do is kind of show you guys what I have here. So I have a Joshua Bardwell Pello charger. These things are awesome. The only thing is, is that you have to buy each one separate for each type of battery you're doing. So I'm charging some 6S batteries right now. Um, so I have a 6S ba balance charger. Now you can get the other uh, balance, not the balance charger, power chargers. Uh, they are have a whole bunch of these little balance plugs on them. And then you just have to make sure that you plug them in the correct way. With the Joshua Bardwell version, pretty much what it does is it prevents you from mis putting like a, a, a 4s or a 3s into a 4s pin or, or whatnot to you know not cause a short or something like that and the reason why you want to go ahead and use all pretty much a par parallel charger is you can go ahead and charge like this one i can charge up to 10 batteries at the same time um and that comes in really handy so you can you know say you guys in the hour or two are going to go ahead and go fly and you don't have anything charged just throw all 10 packs on the parallel charger and you're good to go um, but the only caveat with parallel charging that you do have to remember is that when you get to check all your batteries. So what I go ahead and do is I'll get one of these little cheap battery checkers and I'll go through each one I want to charge and check the voltage. So for instance, I know all these batteries right here, I can charge together along with these. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my charger here and my little checker. And it says 22.9 volts. And then there are about 3.82, 3.80 um, each cell. So that's fine. So I check another one in the same lot. And this one is at the same voltage and about the same for each cell. You want to do that for each one. Now you're going to probably come across one like this where let's see here get that in there this one right here is at 23.6 volts and 3.9 3.95 you know 3.94 so i would not charge this one with this pack i would have to either go ahead and storage charge it to bring it back down to where these are at or just storage charge it and do it in another run when I do more batteries. So that's the only thing with power charging is you have to make sure that all your batteries are around the same voltage. Um, I usually don't do more than um, one tenth, I believe, of a voltage. So 3.8 volts these batteries are at, and if it's 3.9, that's a no go. But if it's like 3. Point, you know, it's within that margin of error of 0.5, you should be fine. You probably can even do this one too, but I like to keep it safe and just kind of keep them around the same voltage. Um, and then when you check them all, you can go ahead and install them. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to plug this guy in here. And then we'll do the other one too. So I want to charge all these batteries while I'm talking to you guys. And what's great about this charger, I mean this parallel charger, is pretty much this power and parallel board is that it also has some safety things too so it has these little um this little tape i think they actually changed it actually this is like an older version of it uh where if say you if, for instance did make a short on this thing it doesn't destroy it which is great 
because what happens with regular parallel charge boards is if you short it out, it pretty much is dead and you have to go ahead and buy another one. With the Joshua Bardwell version, it has all these fuses here, along with these, uh, I believe these are Molly fuses, if I'm saying the correct thing. Um, but what happens is this will change colors as a little tape, knowing that you have a short. So disconnect the battery and you just wait for it to cool down and it's good to go. You might have blown a fuse here, but you can go ahead and replace it. But it doesn't destroy your board and you can go ahead and use it again. So I'm going to plug this last battery in and then I'm going to show you guys pretty much why you can charge so fast. Now, the capacity of your charger is going to matter because you know when it comes to a max of 500 volts, uh, 500 watts or whatever, that is where you're going to be limited. So let me go ahead and zoom in on this screen here. So right here we have, this is the Hata charger. And I think it does up to 6 or 700, 750 watts or whatever. So I don't actually charge these. I have charging other batteries on those. So LiPo. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 batteries. So we have 5 batteries times 1.3. That will give us our um, C rating that we want to charge at. So I am not that great at math, and you probably already have it figured out in your head, but I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to calculate that. So 1.3 times 5. 6.5 amps is what I'm going to charge my batteries at because I'm charging 5 batteries. So pretty much what happens when you're connecting them like this in parallel, you're pretty much just making the battery really big. So according to the charger, this thing has a really, really big battery here. Um, so that's why you need to go ahead and check your cells as well because you could have a drop cell, you could have something messed up, and it can cause a problem. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you're doing all that up front before you plug everything in. And by the way, um, do not charge, especially parallel charge, and just go you know, to the store. Make sure that you're around it. Make sure you can hear it. Make sure you can see it. Um, like for instance, I'm going to be playing some video games on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and charge some batteries. And perfect spot to do it. So. What we want to do is go here. I'm gonna. I'm charging 6s batteries here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pick. Uh, was it six point? What was the uh, six point five? So I'm just going down here and go six point five. Oh, went a little too far. Went too far again. That's why I kind of. It's the only thing that bugs me about this charger. It's like no in between. There. So and then all I do is have to go start task. And then all of them are going to be charged within an hour, pretty much. So I have one, two, three, four, five batteries charged in an hour, but I can charge up to 10 batteries on here. So another, you can do, what, 13 amps would be according to this. So if you have uh, any questions, leave it down in the comments. Let me know. Do you guys power charge? I mean, it's the quickest way uh, to pretty much charge your batteries, especially if you're flying FPV and drones and going out for the day. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll leave a link to this. Hopefully I can find it this Joshua Bardwell parallel charging board um, along with some chargers and some batteries. If you guys want to, there will be affiliate links, help support the channel. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.